Welcome back to Dryland Permaculture. We're back in our farm, different area of the farm. I want to show you some, some of the, the new planting of the trees here. These are some of the trees we already planted about two, three weeks ago. It's close by this well. This well we created and we gather some of the organic materials in it actually. Good look it's a different area here we already planted date palm because of the sun maybe you cannot see very well but try and see planted date palm all the way to the door and these some of the trees you could see the irrigation system here this is some of the tank we use, compost tea, and organic materials. I'm just going to walk around inside the farm. If you look back two years ago, we, we first planted this Washingtonia plant. Now it's become plantation. It's like a forest here. <laughs> They're doing it very, very well. Sometimes to uh, gonna walk around the farm. We are in March 2018. Still not so hot. Not yet. This is some of the areas we grow some of our tomato and okra. Excuse me, we also have some invasive weeds trying to control it as much as possible. When you're dealing with the big farm very challenging some some of the tropical almond we planted last year still alive I mean maybe we need some few days to, for the leaf to come out in the spring so you again around the farm we, we clear some of these we're going to be planting some okra. We already did actually. You could see some small okra plant. Okra is very, very popular here. This is some of our tomato, the end of the season, seasonal tomato. As you can see, we have a variety of tomatoes. All organic, heirloom, non-hybrid. We recently pollinated the date palm. I could show you, as you could see here. I don't know if you could see it very clearly, but um, we already pollinated the date palms. We have about 500 date palm here in the farm, and we're still planting more. This is a swell. The end of the season for our tomato. We harvest a huge amount of tomato. A variety of heirloom, local and of course from around the world. This is different types. Local heirloom tomato. Still green. This is moringa. Show you a different part of the farm. You can see it's a big farm and we have very few workers so it's a big challenge for all of us especially during the hot season this 
is from last year's harvest, date palm. We use it with a variety of uses. We could use it as a compost. We could plant it from seed also, since we already have a huge space. We could create a new strains or of date palm by trying with from seeds. It takes time, but it's worth it. Here, some of the cow manure from our neighboring farm. This is another area I could show you just here because of the sun. We planted the road here to protect us from the wind, especially in June, July. Here it gets windy and dusty. And this is some area, another area in the farm, since we do have a huge farm. Trying to slowly, slowly expand. See, as you can see here, carpet. We use some, somebody who throws some carpets, we use them to cover the ground here <laughs> for invasive uh, weeds and stuff like that. This is one of our favorite date palm here. It's, we don't know what type it is, is it yet. It's grown from seeds, but it looks very impressive. It uh, has a huge trunk, as you can see. And this year is the first year of harvest. Looking forward to see what we could get out of this. Yeah. As you can see, I'm walking on old carpets. <laughs> some of the our date palm we just pollinated about a month ago. These are some of the date palm, local date palm. We, are, we planted about a month ago. This strain called Khenezi is very popular, originated here from Eastern Province, Saudi Arabia, actually from Katif, native to Katif, and now it's around the world. It's very popular, red Khenezi. They use it for date and also dates. I see, it's all Khenezi here, as you could see. Planted so many of them in this area also. Because of the sun, and let's see. I would walk around here, show you. See, it's a swell around it, or contour. It's doing very well. See, there are small ones, the shoots are coming up, so it's great. We have rare strains of date palm here in Qatif, Saudi Arabia. Very old area of date palm here. Hundreds maybe, I wouldn't say, <laughs> more than hundreds of years old. And some of the date, date palms are almost gonna extinct. So basically what I'm doing, I'm collecting some of these old strains of date palms, I'm trying to plant them here to preserve them also. Beside the hobbies collecting seeds from around the world, non-hybrid original seeds. So, this is another area, and I'm going from area to area, as you can see. It's a big farm. We already planted date palms. This is a swell. Swell we had. Some of these materials, and keep it here, and then we use it. Or we could burn it also. This is another area. As you can see, we cleared it out. We already set up the irrigation system. We're going to plant citrus and date palm. We already have about 400 citrus trees in the nursery. So when they're big enough, we're going to bring them out. Maybe probably next year. Since the, the hot season is going to start soon here. So we just keep them in the nursery until they become strong enough. And then we graft in jujube. This is some of that date of the jujube, local jujube. So we graft them with different types. As you can see, this area is a big area also. We 
it's very challenging to deal with the dry land permaculture but it's very exciting because you can learn a lot it allows you to be creative and experiment especially if you have a big place like this one now I'm just gonna come to the final area here which is zone one as you can see inside all date palms and of course tomatoes out of the season now see this line right here planted some as you can see nitrogen fixers and and different type for wind protection see some of the nitrogen fixer acacias variety of acacias we have we collected trees from around the world every time I travel I bring some so we're trying to it creates something special, it takes time. This area, as you can see, close to our buildings here. This is some of our veggies, kales, and here. We use for the house, for home use, and garlic, and, and all type of stuff we use for companion plants and this is Louis, she's still with me <laughs> some of beautiful acacias, very fast growing different type of acacias you see my videos two years ago this place was bare now the plants are growing they're doing very well they become slow they become lush this is zone one very heavy trees to create shade and cool area this is one of my favorite area in the farm because if you look back over a year ago this was it doesn't look good very well now look at it it's great it's doing very well we put some chinese date palm again here we put citrus oh, lemon look, you can see local lemon let me show you here start fruiting sugar canes all types we put some of this ground cover, but we find that it's very invasive, so we had to take it out. Pomegranate. A variety, we have a variety of citrus, maybe 10 different varieties of citrus trees, from orange to different type of lemon. Like I said, I collect from around the world. And I bring it and see if it works. This is some of the melberries we brought from Indonesia this is Indonesian melberry plus we have local Pakistani we have maybe four or five different varieties now lots of melberries and I can just show you here before I go As you can see, figs, grapes, this is grape. We have figs, grape, mango. Uh, i show you, this is our nursery here. It's a tropical almond. It's very popular here. Easy to grow, create shade, and also we grafted during the season. Usually February we graft some of these. Most of them we graft them actually. Create. This is the tropical almond I was telling you. It's here behind the building. Back to the front. Sitting area. You can see here figs. Pomegranate, jujube, 
Melbury. We have a variety of figs. I brought also from around the world, from Mediterranean, from Turkey, from Greece, from all over the world, from the US, of course. Yeah. There's a variety of figs. This papaya. trying to accomplish accomplish as many things as possible before the heat sets in this is figs this is mango this area we're also going to build it as a nursery higher high ceiling nursery where we're going to put all the, the new plant we brought and we have new puppies here <laughs> This is Cookie. Say hi to Cookie. <laughs> That's his brothers. As you can see, they're coming. <laughs> Mommy is very upset. She doesn't like any. <laughs> also, walking around, different area. Again, this is jujube. We already planted so many of them. This is what left. We can still gonna plant some more before heat sets in. It's another a greenhouse. These are some of the tropical almond we planted. Some of the grafting was not so successful because I forgot to keep the to keep the area very wet actually you need to be very humid so this we call it cock in our area or tamarindo in spanish i think yeah it's very easy to grow simple Faster growing, heat tolerant, so we we, we grown a lot of it around the fences here. See, so look back here. I'm some of the date palms. Now we're gonna end our video with this <laughs> a cute cookie. Until next time. Have a nice day.